Yes. Do you need my name or my Yeah, you do. Like the beat, beat, beat of the tom tom when the jungle shadows fall. Like the tick, tick, tick of the stately clock as it stands against the wall. Like the drip, drip, drip of the raindrop when the summer shower is through. So a voice inside me keeps repeating you, 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 night and day. You are the one, only you beneath the moon and under the sun. Whether near to me or far, it's no matter, darling, where you are. I think of you night and day, day.
Oh, it is someone here. That's okay. Um, I brought a new dress for my gig. Do you like my new dress? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I, it kind of looks like something I would have dressed my Barbie in in about 1983. Don't you think? Though definitely not a Barbie figure. Definitely not. I think Barbie's legs, if I was the Barbie, would probably come to about here. Then there would be a giant gap in between the legs, which is not natural. Um, and um, yes, do you know what? Why not? Saturday afternoon. Do you like it, Mum? Do I? Beautiful. You like a little bit of as asymmetry, don't you? Yes? A bit of a cold shoulder. Um, I'm going to sing this next tune because it's a beautiful tune and uh, it's written by Irving Berlin. And Irving Berlin was a beautiful songwriter. Um, he, he wrote this, um, well, I'll, I'll go back. So he had a, a, a wife, he got married to his love and really tragically she died on their honeymoon. She contracted um, cholera, I think, and, and she, she passed away terrible. And so he had that real great heartache early in his life and I think that great heartache creates astonishing um, art. Sad, but true. Anyway, this next tune he wrote after the birth of his first daughter. So he got married again, he had a child. And this song is all about just the beauty and the, the glory of what that baby, that new baby is. And I always dedicate this one to my beautiful little baby, my Ella, who is now 10 and just got the the role of Alice in Alice at Wonderland at Harvest Rain. Oh, proud mum, proud mum. Um, but she's very beautiful and I can always remember her being born and um, these like glassy black eyes just kind of like opening and looking at me and the midwife and her dad and my mum and, and then I remember like picking her up and and like having her on my shoulder and feeling her breath on my neck and it was the most extraordinary thing and I can just, I can be right back there in the birth centre at the, at the women's hospital and just feeling that, that breath of my baby on my neck. Anyway, this is a, um, a beautiful tune called Blue Skies. I never 
skies shining at me nothing but blue skies do I see Noticing the days hurrying by Cause when you're in love, my, how they fly in blue days All of them gone I've got nothing but blue skies from now on Well, I've got blue skies shining at me I've got nothing but blue skies, do I see? Blue skies, do I see? Sun shining so bright, I never saw things go so right. I don't think the days hurrying by. Cause when you're in love, my how they fly. Blue days all gone, and nothing but blue skies from now on.
blue skies shining at me nothing but blue skies do i see blue birds singing my song i got nothing but blue birds from now on blue birds from now on well i never saw the sun shining so bright i never saw things go so right and noticing the days hurry much. How about for Grace King on the kit? Now I did tell you how I used to crash my dad's gigs but now I invite him to come to my gigs. Do you want to come and sing a song daddy? Oh twist your rubber arm. How about it for my dad Alan Weston? Um, yeah, so we, we came to Australia in 1982, I do believe, a long time ago. I actually, on the way here to set up my stuff, got um, sidetracked by a girl who was wobbleboarding a free cupcake sign on the side of the road for the Avio Retirement Village, which is the old St Columbans. And, um, and I had to go in, A, to get a, a free cupcake, but also to go back to, because I was a St. Regis girl, and so Kalana Carnival was, um, you know, we, that was our boys' school, Columbans. And um, this made me feel really old because it's been a retirement village for 20 years. And 4KQ were celebrating its 20th year anniversary. And I felt very old. I really felt very old. You must feel ancient. Do you want to take that microphone, Dad? Yeah. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna play a, a a tune, a tune called "They Can't Take That Away From Me." Once you've got it, you can't get it out of a grip. That's right. <laughs> That's right. The memory of all that No, no, they can't take that away from me The way your smile just beams The way you sing up key I don't The way you heart my dreams Oh, no, they can't take that away from me We may never Hold your knife The way you sing off key Do not sing off key The, the way, way you change my, my life, life. Oh, no, no, they, they can't, can't take, take that away
The way we dance till three The way you changed my life And you heard it first at Theatre Room. I might even let you do one by yourself, Dad. Do you want to hear one of my dad? Yeah, come on, oh. you do. Oh, you, you're not going to leave me here on my own, are you? I, I, I might get frightened. Um, how many ladies do we have here with the name of Mary? One. Ah. Oh. Yeah, just just one. Well this song isn't called Mary. All around is a face in the misty light. Footsteps. That you hear down the hall The laugh you hear on a summer's night That you can never quite recall passing through those eyes how familiar they seem she gave your very first kiss to you that was Laura in silo and you see Laura on that train that is passing through those eyes how familiar they seem she gave your very first kiss to you That was Laura But she's only a dream Thanks guys, beautiful. How about it for my dad, Thank Alan you. Weston, ladies Thank and you. gentlemen? Do you want to give your next gig a plug, Dad? You're going to be at City Hall, aren't you? Oh, what date? What date? 24th of October. 24th of October. You can catch Alan Weston at uh, Brisbane City Hall for the uh, Seniors Cabaret Gala. Gala? 
Gala. Anyway, it's a beautiful, it's such a beautiful program. Um, I've been a mentor for it before and it's just absolutely a delight. So get yourself there. And it's free, right? Or is it five bucks or something? Five dollars. Five dollars. Are you singing? No. Are you singing? No. Okay. Anyway, you should all go. Five dollars. Um, I have had a request and I do like to meet those requests and it's make and whoopee, so I'm not sure which... Um, which one it's in. I actually sang this song when I did Women in Voice the second time and I was seven and a half months pregnant with my second daughter, Sasha, and I did songs about, um, about pe parenthood. So um, I, I, sang, um, I sang this tune, which clearly is about like getting pregnant. And this is, <laughs> and I did this great reveal. I started in front of like a rostra and I had this really pretty dress on and then I came out at a point in the song which will make sense and I was so pregnant. I remember going first to a, get my blood test and the woman said, oh, you're going to look like a basketball on legs. <laughs> and I was like, thank you, that's lovely. But I really was like a basketball on legs because there's nothing of me and so it just all went that way. I also had both of my children at the birth centre without any doctors and with no pain relief and I loved it and I am advocating for good healthy birth because sometimes people that have good births and don't talk about them because they feel guilty because other people have horrible births but I don't, I don't, I think I'm talking to a room full of people who are probably not going to be pregnant again, so I'm not sure where the advocacy, I'm not sure where the advocacy is going for this. Safe to say that I hope that your births were great. I loved childbirth, yes, I loved it. God, it was hard and good and bloody and just, you know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Grace is probably the only person in the room. You'll be great, you'll be great. Oh, there's a couple of, oh, your girls are here. Yes, that's right. You can do it. I didn't even have a Panadol. Yes. <laughs> truly, no, truly, I didn't, no, no Nurofen, no. Had a bit of cocaine, but no. <laughs> joking, joking. That's why my children have ADHD, yeah. No, I didn't. Another bride, another groom, another sunny honeymoon. Another season, another reason for making whoopee. A lot of shoes, a lot of rice. The groom is nervous, he answers twice. It's really chilling that he's so willing to make it whoopee. Picture a little love nest down where the roses cling. Picture the same sweet love nest. Just think what a year can bring. He's washing dishes and baby clothes. He's so ambitious, he even sews. So don't forget, folks. That's what you get, folks, for making whoopee. Another year, or maybe less. What's this I hear? Well, can you guess? She feels neglected, and he's suspected of making whoopee. He doesn't phone, he doesn't write. She sits alone most every night. He says he's busy and she says, is he? He's making whoopee. He doesn't make much money, only 5,000 per. 
some judge who thinks that he's funny says you pay six to her he says now judge suppose i fail the judge says budge right into jail you better keep her i think it's cheaper than making a whoopee and Nathan Siler.
so much. We're going to play one more tune and then take a 15 minute break. And after the break, I'm going to have another very special guest up. And I have some other special requests that I am going to sing. If you have a request, you can hit me up on my Facebook page, Melissa Western Artist. I have never, ever promoted my page because I just have never had the time to do it. But I'm doing it now. I'm doing it. So if you want, if you want me to sing a song, um, comment on my Facebook page. Now, um, we're going we're gonna to have a bit of fun. We're gonna do, I'm going to do a bit of improv, a bit of improv for our last tune. Um, first of all, I would like you to give me a style, a jazz blues style. Anyone want to have a particular style of tune? Actually, you know what? Let's do the tune. Let's do the style after. Let's have the content. Does anyone have any content that they would like to give me for a bit of improv? No one has any ideas. You are very boring. Yes. The colour blue. What a beautiful and philosophical suggestion. The colour blue. That is lovely. Anything else? Black magic. Got blue and black. Okay, good, good. Yes. Big Bird, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, I've got Big Bird, I've got Black Magic and Blue. Anything else? Any kind of like contemporary politics or anything that you're, you know? What, no, oh, you're over politics. Uh, or anything in the kind of... Submarines. Now I've got something to work with. Okay, I've got Big Bird, Submarines, Black Magic and the Colour Blue. This is very good. Now, would you like to give me a style suggestion? Bossa. 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 What did you say? Sea shanty. We'll do the sea shanty another time. Okay, bossa. Bossa. Okay, all right. Um, Nathan said, what are we doing? I don't know. We're just having fun. It's Saturday afternoon. Anyone want to sing out a key? What key would you like us to do it in? B flat, friendly key. Are we just doing B flat? Yeah. B flat, B flat for those of you playing at home, B flat. Which when you're writing it is capital B, little b. Very satisfying to write. Copa 
cabana He was all dressed in yellow feathers in his hair And when he sang black magic Well, I didn't know what to do I can tell you that I didn't have no blues And so I started up a conversation with Big Bird I saw those beady eyes just looking at every word I said and then I decided to ask have you been vaccinated and he said no I don't believe in Because without no vaccination, I could die. So Big Bird, I hope you've got some very protective feathers. Because you might not be going where you think with Heathers. That was just a rhyme that I thought of. And now I think we're coming to the end of the song. Also, it is 3.24, and if we have 15 minutes, then there won't be any more, so let's wrap it up. Would you like to say, let's wrap it up? This is what I would say to Big Bird on the submarine, the yellow submarine with my Big Bird. And I ain't got no blues. Watching the news, and I have got quite old shoes, but they are just can't think of anything to run anyway. Clearly, need to have a break, so let's have a break. And for 15 minutes, you can visit the bar. Thank you very much. We will be literally 15 minutes and back. Thank you very much. <laughs> if you ever plan to motor west, Travel my way, take the highway, that's the best Yeah, you get your kicks on Route 66 Well, it winds from Chicago to L.A. More than 2,000 miles all the way Yeah, you get your kicks on Route 66 well, you go to St. Louis, Joplin, Missouri, and Oklahoma City is mighty pretty. You'll see Amarillo, Gallup, New Mexico, Flex of Arizona, don't forget Winona, Kingman, Boston, San Bernardino. If you ever take this timely tip, yeah, when do you take that California trip? Well, you get your kicks on Rio. 66 
Sila.
you so much. I would like to invite um, a very special guest up to share a tune with me. Would you please put your hands together for Meryn Holder, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Grab that mic, Meryn. Um, I met Meryn at a, um, I want to say like a jazz singer's jam night, maybe, which is an open mic night for jazz singers. Is that where we met? Some, yeah, you were jamming. And I was like, oh my God, you have to come and stand on this side because I'm Facebook living it. Can I do so, that? Yeah, you can. I think you'll have a sound. Hello. Oh, she has a sound. Um, Got it. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, you are so much fun and she is so much fun. And um, <laughs> she's also going to, are you going to be at City Hall as well? <gasps> she's yeah. also going to be at City Hall on the 24th of October um, for the Seniors Cabaret Gala. So, um, Hi, thank you. You can go and see my dad and Maren. Yes. I seriously, I need to get old so that I can. <laughs> hey, oh, that's church. not the truth. It's not the truth. <laughs> no, age is but a number. It I have, is. I, it, honestly, it really yeah. is. I'm I, growing younger. I don't know about you, but I'm I'm going the other way now. I think so too. Yeah. yeah. It's just. It really is just a number. Hey, Rob. Hey, give it up for our sound man at the Where back, is Rob. You, Rob. <laughs> Could you please give a little bit of reverb and echo for Meryn, please? Because I just love that kind of sound. Thank you. <laughs> That's really nice. And this is what happens when we play jazz, is that people come up, they, they, Meryn's never met these people before, and yet, and yet, they are about to make some magic. This is jazz. And then it also depends on how interesting my patter is so that you don't get bored. Because clearly I stop thinking about something to say and then everyone's like, well, whatever, you know. I will say that I've, I've got some chocolate here that is for someone special. But you'll just have to wait and see who that is. Oh. See, now you're intrigued. And I can hear by the tone of what's happening behind me that they're almost ready, almost ready. Also, I think my children are about to be here too, which is good. Oh, sorry. Hi. Hi, I'm right here. That's good. I'm glad you got here. Did the Uber driver drop you off? Okay, I'm good. No, I'm joking. I wouldn't put my children in an Uber. They're 10 and 8. Come on. What kind of mother am I? I'm not the kind of mother that would be drinking Sauvignon Blanc at two o'clock in the afternoon. Am I? I've just got one question. How do you get up and sing after Melissa Weston? Oh, I mean, seriously. Stop it. <laughs> you ready, sister? I'm ready. Okay. Badova 
Um, a couple of um, I'm going to play a couple of requests, and I'd love to learn new songs. And I'm going to sing two songs that I've never sung before, because someone asked me to. And um, I also have really good musicians who can do whatever I ask. Um, <laughs> this is a a beautiful not whatever I ask. There are limits, although I push them, don't I? I do push the limits. Um, this is a really beautiful um, Leonard Cohen song, in fact, called Dance Me to the End of Love. Oh, sorry, that one. Yep. Oh, Hallelujah, were you thinking? We could do that, maybe, as well. Um, and it's a beautiful uh, Madeline Peru version of this tune, so um, we'll see how it goes. Your beauty with a burning violin. Dance me through the panic till I'm gathered safely in. Lift me like an olive branch and be my homeward dove. Dance me to the end of love. Oh, let me see your beauty. When the witnesses are gone Let me feel you moving Like they do in Babylon Show me slowly what I only know The limits of Dance me to the end of to the wedding now and dance me on and on 
dance me very tenderly and dance me very long. We're both of us beneath our love. We're both of us above. So dance me to the end of love. Oh, darling, dance me to the end. the children who are asking to be born. Dance me through the curtains that our kisses have outworn. Raise a tent of shelter now and though every thread is torn. Dance me to the end of Touch me with your naked hand Or touch me with your glove Oh, dance me to the end of love Oh, darling, dance me to the end of love Oh, darling, dance me to the end I've never sung before, but gosh, it's a good tune. This is uh, made famous by the beautiful Nina Simone, but there's a fantastic Annie Lennox version as well. Yeah, that one. That one. 
Do you want, um, do you want my children to sing? They only sing for money. <laughs> they do want money. No, no, not yet. Not yet. Sit down. God, jeez. They're keen, aren't they? I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna sing a song and then maybe you can sing a song. They are definitely my children. Oh my gosh, I brought myself some props. Because how often do I get to take the smoke machine that I bought from Aldi to a gig? Best 79 bucks I ever spent. Oh, makes it better, right? Yeah? And and the smoke machine juice is called Pina Colada. Oh, check it out, yo. Do you think that's enough? It's enough, okay, all right, okay, stop, sorry. No, 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 don't you stop, keep going. Oh, but it should be at me, hang on a second. Put a spell on you
Oh, uh, thank you so much. Now, um, we're going to play a tune that um, has been covered so many times, and uh, it's a, it's a, it's kind of a request, and kind of not. I was, I, I, I should have sung this song a few months ago, but I was not in a frame of mind to sing it, and. Um, this is where I get to say who the chocolate is for. Lotta, Lotta, can you come here? Can you come here? Come here. Come here, Lotta. Can you take this chocolate? You can give that to your daddy. Give that to your daddy. And these are the two tunes that I should have sung at your birthday. And can I just say, when you're down, and people drive their cars to your house and then drive you and your family to a holiday after making dinner for you and then do it again on the reverse and then make marmalade from the oranges which the children have picked from the tree on that getaway. There's silver linings in the dark clouds.
Nathan Siler. Okay. Now, Nathan and I are going to play a tune. And we're just going to go with it. Because, what did you call Bob Dylan? Accidental genius. Yeah, accidental genius. Because, basically, he just, he just plays a tune and um, he, puts, he just puts whatever kind of timing he wants into it. And then amazing musicians just basically learn that. So um, we're gonna we're gonna play a beautiful Bob Dylan tune, and um, we'll start at the start and finish at the end.
the conductor, he's still on the line. And if I can save you any time, come on, you give it to me. Happy birthday. All right, do you want to hear my children sing? Yeah. All right, come on, go and get that microphone. Do I have two children or just one? Okay, are you going... No, 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 take it off the stand. Come on, you're professionals. Take it off. Right, come over here. Oh, yeah, we can have... Yeah, yeah, look, mic, mic's for everyone. All right, so we're almost finished for um, our day and um, it's been lovely to um, share um, with you. It's been beautiful to share with you. Um, this is Ella and this is Sasha and Ella is Alice in Wonderland and Sasha is Ocean 3. Very... And it's... it's oh, sorry. Ella in Wonderland. Alice. She's Alice in Wonderland. Um, thank you to Clary and James and Bar and to Rob for our beautiful sound. Thank you very much, Rob. And thank you to all of you for coming out and supporting live music. Um, please give it up for my beautiful band here today. Nathan Seiler on the keys, Luke McIntosh on bass and Grace King on the kit. Um, Grace is going straight to another gig at Eat Street Markets. Do you want to go to Eat Street Markets? Yes, we might come and eat. And you're going to the Jazz Club, to the Brisbane Jazz Club at Kangaroo Point. Are you going anywhere? I'm going home. He's going home. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's sing Sweet Georgia Brown, yeah? Uh, oh, God, what's the... Um, the it's on. Yeah. What do you mean it's not on? Talk into it. No, just talk. What? It's yeah. not on. Yeah, turn around and say, Rob, turn me up. Rob, turn me up. Say, Rob, turn me up more. It is on, isn't it? Is yours on? Yes. Wait, yeah, mine's on. You good? Okay.
because we've got to strike everything. So that means you've got to book me again. And then, Carol, you have to come again. So, oh, you've got a gig here. Oh, God, come on, come on, do your plug. Because this is a really nice, this is my beautiful friend, Carol. Please give it up for Carol. Hi, I just wanted to tell you about my gig here on the 9th of October. And it's not Saturday afternoon, it's Saturday evening, 7 till 10. And my band is called Scarlet Gypsy, and we have very vibrant, alive gypsy music. I've got three beautiful accompanists, and I mean, they're beautiful young men, is what I mean. And, <laughs> and we will have swing dancers and any kind of dance you like, actually. It's very danceable music. So hope to see you here on the 9th of October. Thank you, Melissa. I am just going to say they are genuinely very attractive men. They are very attractive. So. Yes, but for the evening, they're all mine. Okay. <laughs> and then as you leave the stage, then they're mine. Um, thank you so much. I would love to do another tune, but we genuinely have to go because we've got to strike everything in 10 minutes. So it's been lovely um, to have you with us and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much. Have a beautiful weekend. Thank you.